We'll be looking at a typical early Christian basilica church plan and how this plan is inspired by earlier pre-Christian basilicas built by the Romans. We are using the word basilica to refer to a particular type of Christian church architecture that developed between the 4th and 6th centuries. This period, between 300 and 600, was a time when Christianity was establishing itself as a major religion in what had been the Roman Empire. Significant early Christian centres included Rome, Milan and Ravenna in Italy, Thessaloniki and Athens in Greece, and Constantinople in present-day Turkey. Our typical plan incorporates features found in many, but not all, early Christian basilicas. A typical early Christian basilica plan is rectangular. It consists of nave, aisles, apse, choir, narthex, and atrium. The nave is in the centre. It is the widest and tallest part. It is flanked by one or two aisles. Nave and aisles are separated by columns, indicated in this plan by dots. The aisles are usually one story high, but can sometimes be two stories. The upper level is called a gallery. The nave and aisles are set aside for worshippers. A semicircular apse projects from one of the shorter sides. The apse belongs to the clergy. A small area between the nave and apse is reserved for the altar. This area is called a choir or chancel. It can be separated from the nave by a screen. The apse and choir are directly opposite the entrance. Apse and choir are usually situated at the eastern end. The entrance is at the western end. The basilica is entered first through the atrium, a forecourt with a colonnade. Then the narthex, a kind of vestibule, leads into the nave and aisles. This cutaway drawing shows the atrium on the bottom left. It leads through the narthex into the nave and aisles and then onto the apse in the upper right corner. The nave, the highest part of the building, has a pitched roof made of wood and covered with clay tiles. The aisles flanking the nave are lower than the windows of the nave. They have sloping roofs, that is, lean-to roofs built against the higher wall of the nave. The apse is topped with a half-pyramidal roof. The apse roof covers a semi-dome, which is visible from the inside. The nave can have a flat-tiled ceiling or exposed wooden beams. Nave and aisles are separated by marble columns, which are linked by arches or by horizontal entablature. The columns support the wall, which supports the row of windows and the roof. The window panes are usually made of translucent alabaster that allows the interior to be filled with a subdued light. Windows in the outer walls illuminate the aisles. Interiors were decorated with wall paintings or mosaics. They depicted scenes from the life of Christ, some Old Testament scenes, and single devotional images of Christ, his mother Mary, and saints. This is a detail of a 6th century mosaic in the nave of a church in Ravenna. It shows part of a procession of female saints walking toward and enthroned Mary and Christ. The decorative interior of a basilica contrasts with its relatively plain brick exterior. The basilica plan is not, however, a Christian invention. It predates Christianity and was popular in the Roman Empire. The earliest known Roman basilicas belong to the 2nd century BC, like this one in Pompeii. A highly adaptable plan, the basilica was used by Roman architects for commercial spaces, law courts, and a place where the public could meet and commemorate an emperor. So the Roman basilica is mostly a secular building, not a religious one like the Christian basilica. Like an early Christian basilica, the pre-Christian Roman one is rectangular. It has a spacious central nave, one or two flanking aisles, and an apse or two. 
The nave is separated from the aisles by columns. Walls could be built between the columns and the outer wall to create offices or shops. This plan is of an elaborate 2nd century basilica in Rome. The aisle colonnades run along all four sides, and the lower aisles have galleries above them. The early Christians enthusiastically embraced the Roman basilica plan simply because it already existed, so builders knew how to construct it and could do so quickly and efficiently. Also, the early Christian basilica, with its plain and solid exterior walls, did not look like traditional Greek or Roman temples, with their distinctive arrangements of exterior columns, as in this 5th century BC Greek temple in Athens. The reason early Christians did not copy the style of pre-Christian places of worship is that they wanted to show that Christianity was different from all earlier religions. The Basilican plan continued to inspire the builders of many later Christian churches, especially in Western and Northern Europe. And many a 20th century shopping mall recalls a typical Roman Basilican plan with a central nave-like space and flanking aisles turned into stores. <laughs>